Welcome back, y'all. In the previous lesson, we looked at where Virginia is on a map, and we talked about how we can describe Virginia's location. We also learned which states border Virginia. In this lesson, we will continue to explore Virginia's geography, but we are going to turn our attention to its many different types of waterways and how they were important from the very beginning of English settlement. Let's first take a look at our learning targets for today. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to label Virginia's important bodies of water on a map, as well as explain how those waterways impacted the development of English settlement. Later this year, we will dive more deeply into why England was coming to North America and how the United States came to be. But for right now, there are just a few things to know. The Englishmen who first came to North America in 1607 had very specific needs when it came to finding the perfect location. Many of their needs had to do with water. From the very beginning, Virginia's natural waterways created the ideal location for settlement. First and foremost, the ships needed to be able to easily navigate between the settlement and England. Those ships were also very large, and so deep, protected waters were needed to safely dock offshore. Other things the settlers were looking for included smaller bodies of water, which they could use to travel around the colonies, and fresh water for drinking. Take a moment to pause here and look at that map. What water features do you notice that would meet these needs? The first important body of water was an ocean. Oceans are vast bodies of salt water, and there are eight on our planet, which cover approximately 70% of Earth's entire surface. The Atlantic Ocean, as you can see on this map, was a direct route between North America and Europe. Because of this, natural resources found in Virginia could be shipped and sold in England, and resources not available in the colonies could be shipped from England. Next comes the Chesapeake Bay. A bay is a large body of water that is connected to a sea or an ocean. Bays are mostly surrounded by land. If you look at this map, you can see that the Chesapeake Bay is a large, long body of water with land all around it, except for a small opening connecting it to the Atlantic Ocean. Because there is only a small portion open to the ocean, the water in the bay is much calmer, but it is still deep. This made it a safe place for the very large English ships to dock. Connected to the Chesapeake Bay, you can see multiple smaller bodies of water. These are rivers. Rivers, unlike oceans, are mostly freshwater. This is because they begin at a high point like mountains and are formed from rainwater or melting snow flowing downhill. Over long periods of time, the land was eroded and rivers were created. The freshwater from these rivers flows into the Chesapeake Bay, which is about half freshwater and half saltwater from the rivers and ocean. The four most important rivers in Virginia are the James, York, Rappahannock, and Potomac Rivers, which all begin in the Appalachian Mountain System. English colonists settled along the James River in southeastern Virginia because it provided a form of transportation and a source of fresh food. Their settlement became known as Jamestown, which would be the first capital of Virginia. Later, when moving the capital to Williamsburg and then finally Richmond, they just moved further up the James River. The next major river is the York. It is slightly north of the James and it flows through Yorktown. Third, you can see the Rappahannock, which flows through Fredericksburg. And lastly, we have the Potomac River. Depending on what type of map you're looking at, you may or may not be able to easily tell where it is. This is because the Potomac, which flows near Alexandria and the rest of Northern Virginia, is between Virginia and Maryland. So if you're looking at a map of just Virginia, you won't see it represented. The last type of waterway we are going to look at is a lake. This is a body of water that is completely surrounded by land and is often fed by rivers or streams. One notable lake in Virginia is Lake Drummond. 
In this image, you can see it surrounded by the Dismal Swamp, which is partially in southeastern Virginia and northeastern North Carolina. George Washington purchased this land as a surveyor with the intent of developing it. However, it has remained pretty much untouched because it is difficult to build on wetlands and ultimately wetlands became protected natural lands. All right, y'all, let's check in and see how you're doing. If given a map, can you label the bodies of water that we talked about? Can you explain how these bodies of water were important to the success of the colonies? If so, you are ready to move on. If not, feel free to rewatch part or all of this video. You can also use this lesson as a reference material to come back to as you practice. In our next lesson, we'll learn about the regions of Virginia. Some questions we'll focus on include naming the five regions, identifying the geography of those regions, and what natural resources come from some of our regions. See you next time.